Since version 10, FileMaker has included a feature that allows solutions to connect directly to an SMTP server, so email messages can be generated from a FileMaker solution without having to depend on a user's email client. SMTP integration works with the SendMail function located on the file menu or with the SendMail script step. Combined with script triggers, solutions can be configured to generate an email alert when an action is performed or allow users to send messages directly from a FileMaker layout. This functionality also means we can send a text message directly from a FileMaker solution. All major cell phone carriers allow text messaging from an email account. So as long as we have a cell phone number and the carrier, we can format an email address to deliver a text message directly to the phone. In this video, you will first learn how to set up a free Gmail account to be used as your SMTP server. Second, you will learn how to format an email address to send a text message from FileMaker to three major cell phone carriers. Finally, we will take a look at a sample script used to generate a text message from a FileMaker layout. If you do not have a Gmail account, you can create one for free by visiting gmail.com and clicking the Create an Account button. Assuming you have a Gmail account, all you'll need are the account credentials and a few settings. Let's take a look at a SendMail script step in FileMaker. Double-click the step to open the Options window and make sure SMTP server is selected in the Send via dropdown. Enter the name that will be associated with the message and your Gmail address in the Email and Reply To fields. Use the following settings in the Server Information section. The server address is smtp.google.gmail.com. Use 465 for the server port and SSL encryption. Select Plain Password for Authentication and enter the account credentials. In this example, FileMaker is running the script called Alert User Login as part of the open script. The subscript simply sends an email to and from my Gmail account with some basic information about the user and the computer used to open the solution. You can see an example of this email in the Gmail account. When I close and reopen the file, another email alert is generated. Since we have the ability to send an email directly from FileMaker, we also have the ability to send a text message directly from FileMaker. All major cell phone carriers allow texting from an email account by simply formatting the to address using the phone number and a special email domain. For example, to send a text message to a Sprint phone from an email account, simply email to the phone number and at messaging.sprintpcs.com. For AT&T, send the message using the phone number and the domain at txt.att.net. And for Verizon phones, use the phone number and at vtext.com. The phone number part of the email address should contain only numbers, no punctuation. In this example, we'll look at a feature that allows a user to send a text message directly from a contact record in FileMaker. In my sample database, I have a table for employees with contact information, including a cell phone and carrier. In this case, I'm using a Sprint cell phone. If your organization uses a consistent phone carrier, you could keep this information in the background. The message field on the right side of the layout allows me to send a quick message to this contact. When I tab out of the field, a dialog box appears to confirm that I want to send the message. Since the message type under the field is set to text, FileMaker will format the phone and carrier information into a usable email address, connect to my SMTP server, and send the message to the phone. After the message is sent, I can confirm by checking the sent mail in the Gmail account. I will turn on script debugger and walk through the process. First, enter a message and tab out of the field to activate the script. This uses the on object exit script trigger. The first part of the script sets variables with all of the data needed from the contact record, including the message, message type, and contact information. Then, the script verifies that there are data in the message type and message fields, and that the appropriate contact fields have values. If the message type is set to text, there must be phone and carrier data. If it's set to email, there must be something in the email address field. If anything is missing, the user is shown an error dialog box and the script ends. Next, the script verifies that the user really wants to send a message, and if so, the subscript send message is called. This is where FileMaker sets the to address variable and connects to the SMTP server. In this case, we're sending to a Sprint phone. I have some simple if steps to determine the carrier and to format the address appropriately in the to variable. Next, the send mail step connects to the SMTP server, 
which in this case is my Gmail account, and the message is sent. After showing a confirmation dialog box, the variables are cleared and the script ends. With the ability to connect directly to an SMTP server, we can seamlessly send either alerts or direct messages from our FileMaker solutions without a dependence on the user's email client. If you have any questions about this technique, feel free to contact me at jason.mundock at itsolutions-inc.com and be sure to leave your comments on YouTube or the Philly FileMaker blog post. Visit us online at www.pickits.com.